Well, hey guys, it's all good. I've got my biggie mug here with um, a little bit of decaf coffee. In today's video, I'm going to talk at length about a family of ingredients that can be helpful for a variety of skin conditions and skin concerns, and that is polyhydroxy acids. A while back, I did an entire video talking about alpha hydroxy acids, and in that video, I touched on polyhydroxy acids. Polyhydroxy acids are a group of hydroxy acids that are very large, but do a nice job exfoliating the skin in a gentle manner. Because of their large size, they don't penetrate deeply into the skin like smaller alpha hydroxy acids, like glycolic acid, for example. So polyhydroxy acids, they, they exfoliate mostly at the very top layers of the skin, but they're pretty good at doing that. And because they're so large and don't get into the skin to an appreciable amount, they're very low, low irritation risk, making them a great ingredient to consider for people with sensitive skin and even rosacea who are looking to lightly exfoliate, maybe some rough patches, improve skin texture. Polyhydroxy acids are really good ingredients to consider. Not only, are they, not only are they a family of chemical exfoliants, but they also function simultaneously as humectants in products, meaning they hold water onto the skin. Just like hyaluronic acid does, and just like glycerin does, and uh, just like peptides do. The difference between polyhydroxy acids and those, hi those hydrators, those skin hydrators, is that polyhydroxy acids also help with, with exfoliating the top layer of the skin. They break up the bonds between the dead, dying skin cells on the top layer of the skin and help to gently exfoliate them. So they're really good ingredients to consider in leave-on products like moisturizers and sunscreens, serums, if you will. Now, alpha hydroxy acids have been used in dermatology for a long time. Polyhydroxy acids are newer compounds that are gaining increasing interest in uh, treating uh, various skin conditions and skin concerns. There are a few different polyhydroxy acids. They go by the names of lactobionic acid, maltobionic acid, gluconolactone. You might also see them labeled uh, in products as gluconic acid, zinc gluconate, or copper gluconate. And it really doesn't matter the polyhydroxy acid. Uh, you know, you just need to be able to recognize that they're present in the product. And so I'll list the names of polyhydroxy acids down below in the description box for you guys so you can navigate products better. But don't concern yourself with which polyhydroxy acid is best for X, Y, and Z. And the reason why you shouldn't worry about that is that in the studies that we have on polyhydroxy acids, they're always done using one by itself and they're never, they're never compared side by side. Um, so that's kind of what I can tell you. And it seems that whichever one you choose, you will get benefit of gentle exfoliation and hydrating the skin. Polyhydroxy acids hydrate the skin, but at the same time, they can gently remove damaged and discolored skin cells. They're helpful for brightening up the appearance of skin. They can remove some superficial hyperpigmentation, discoloration, sunspots, can be cleared more expeditiously with the use of a moisturizer or topical product that contains a polyhydroxy acid. And polyhydroxy acids simultaneously hydrate the skin and in doing so can increase skin firmness. So for those of you who are seeking to improve the texture of your skin, maybe you have some rough, dull, uneven patches um, and a little bit of maybe just sagginess, Using a polyhydroxy acid containing product can really improve the firmness, suppleness, smoothness, and overall luminosity of your skin. The other desirable thing about polyhydroxy acids is that in comparison to alpha, alpha hydroxy acids, which are smaller and penetrate the skin more deeply, it appears as though from clinical studies that polyhydroxy acids do not put you at increased risk for sun, sun damage. So one risk, of using alpha hydroxy acids, particularly during the daytime, is that if you fail to protect your skin from the sun by using a broad spectrum sunscreen and avoiding peak exposure and wearing a sun protective hat, you, um, your skin is more at risk for forming uh, something called sunburn cells, which are essentially what the cells look like under the microscope when they've been exposed to UV and damaged. 
So using an alpha hydroxy acid product during the day with inadequate sun, sun protection on board can put you at risk for formation of of, of a greater number of sunburn cells. So the advantages of polyhydroxy acids over alpha hydroxy acids, like glycolic acid, are that they are small and don't penetrate deeply into the skin and come with less irritation. They come with less risk of, of um, sun sensitivity and they um, also act as skin hydrators. So they, 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 give you, they give you some wonderful benefits with fewer risks in comparison to alpha hydroxy acids. How do they compare to beta hydroxy acids? Well, beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acid or BHA, unlike, unlike alpha and polyhydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acids are lipid soluble, meaning they like to concentrate in the oily surfaces of our skin. And so they're really effective ingredients for controlling things like oiliness and improving acne and uh, reducing shine. Neither alpha hydroxy acid nor polyhydroxy acid is going to do that as well. They're water soluble, they just don't focus in those locations. So people out there who may have acne or really oily skin or in large pores who are already using a beta hydroxy acid product like a salicylic acid serum, for example, if you switch to a polyhydroxy acid product, you may be disappointed. You're not gonna get the same level of control from that ingredient that you got from the beta hydroxy acid. While polyhydroxy acids are large and don't penetrate as deeply and are less irritating, they still do carry some potential for irritation. So if you're interested in starting a polyhydroxy acid containing product, and at the end of this video, I'll mention some of my favorites, but if you're interested in starting a polyhydroxy acid containing product, you wanna start slowly and just see how your skin tolerates it. Particularly if you have sensitive skin or rosacea, you don't want to you know, go all in all at once and, and try using it a couple of times a day. You wanna make sure that it is maybe the only active ingredient that you're incorporating into your skincare routine, that you don't have any other active ingredients on board that might be causing excessive irritation. And you know, so long as it's, it's tolerable, the nice thing about polyhydroxy acids is that they really can be combined with many other active cosmeceutical and prescription topical ingredients for anti-aging benefit, for skin brightening effect, improving discoloration, hyperpigmentation, for exfoliating the skin and improving skin texture. For example, um, alpha hydroxy acids can be combined with polyhydroxy acids. And a lot of times, if you read the ingredients on products very carefully, you will see that, that a lot of alpha hydroxy acid products like glycolic acid products also will have some polys thrown in there. Polyhydroxy acids really can generally be combined with most any other active ingredient but do know that when you pair it, you raise the risk of developing irritation because even though polyhydroxy acids are large, they're not complete, completely foolproof. They still do carry some potential to cause some irritation. So if they're present alongside other ingredients, it's always going to increase the likelihood that's, that you're going to develop irritation in the form of redness or dryness, peeling. So that is, you know, that is kind of very individualized and at the end of the day, the fewer things that you, you, you use all at once, obviously the better off that you're going to be, or the fewer things that you use in general in your skincare routine, uh, the better off you will be. In terms of products with polyhydroxy acids, probably the companies that started using them and have been using them the longest and have the longest track record of products that are effective are Exuvian's Neostrata, which I think are actually co-owned. So I think they're like the same, they're, they're, they're the same polyhydroxy acids uh, going into different products that are named either Neostrata or Exuvian's. But uh, they, they've been around the longest and the ones that I'm, I have the most longstanding familiarity with. A product personally I use, love, strongly recommend. It is expensive, it is the Exuvian's Sheer Daily Protector broad spectrum SPF 50 PA++++. This is a um, zinc titanium dioxide sunscreen, so it's a mineral sunscreen. It's got a tint in it. So outside of, outside of polyhydroxy acid conversation, the sun protection that you get from this is quite good. Um, and it also has, um, it's tinted, so it has iron oxides in it, which will protect you, offer additional protection against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. 
This product also has green tea in it, which is an antioxidant, but it's also helpful for diminishing the appearance of pores. And it has lactobionic acid in it. So it's got poly the polyhydroxy acid in there that likewise can potentially function as an antioxidant, but it's a great humectant and helping in, in removing some of that sun damage, some of those sun damaged skin cells during the day. So uh, this is a great way to incorporate a polyhydroxy acid into your routine is just using a sunscreen that has one in it. Um, it is an, a, a pricier brand, but again, they do, they have been using them a long time. Another product that also is kind of on the pricier side that I've used and recommend to you guys, it's very good and fragrance free, is PCA Skin Hydrating Serum. Uh, it too contains polyhydroxy acids. So using such a product, um, for example, in the evening time or even in the morning time to your face and then covering it with your moisturizer or in the morning and moisturizing sunscreen is another good way to use, to use, to begin to incorporate polyhydroxy acids. But a brand that does polyhydroxy acids pretty well that I, I've used personally and recommend is affordable, cruelty-free, is CauseRx. So a personal favorite of mine is their Moisture Power Renewal Cream, I think it's called, polyhydroxy acids. I'll list it down below for you guys. Uh, that is great. It's a nice, everyday, thick, moisturizing cream. If you have dry skin, if you have mature skin, you can really, that's really a good product to consider for gatewaying into polyhydroxy acids as a nighttime moisturizer, because you're gonna get, derive the benefit of the polyhydroxy acids in there, and you're gonna have a really nice, nice, rich moisturizing cream, and it is a little on the heavier side. But another product that is newer from Causerex that I have used and used quite a bit of, if I do say so myself, is their new Triple Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Ampule. This is really just a, um, a, a humectant that you can put on underneath your moisturizer to amp up hydration. But as far as the humectants, not only does it have lactobionic acid in it, which is going to bring water into the skin and also lightly exfoliate, but it has hyaluronic acid and it has hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid in it and it has sodium hyaluronate. So three forms of the humectant hyaluronic acid to really, really, really get you some nice gradient hydration into the skin. It's really, I've really been impressed with this product and it also has glycerin in it, which is another humectant. Um, and again, it is cruelty free and vegan. Um, and so I, I recommend this. I really liked it and I've used about two thirds of it and I really see improved hydration in my skin when I use this. So yeah, I wanted to make this video to talk a little bit more about polyhydroxy acids. I think they can be a benefit to many of you out there, particularly those of you with sensitive skin, rosacea prone skin, who are coping with textural problems. I get a lot of questions to talk about skin texture. I'm never really quite clear where you're coming from with that question, because skin texture is something that is different for everyone as far as what they're looking for. But polyhydroxy acids are an ingredient that I think really can help you by increasing firmness and lightly simul and simultaneously lightly exfoliating the skin to really improve hydration, firmness, suppleness, and luminosity in the skin in a gentle manner. Um, so they're helpful for that line of concerns as well as hyperpigmentation um, and dryness. Uh, so you will be wonderful skin hydrators. I really think they're good ingredients to consider, but with the caveats that, of course, they're not foolproof, still a little bit of risk for irritation. And if you are, if you're an oily prone, acne prone person, doesn't mean you can't use this, but I wouldn't use these in lieu of salicylic acid. It can be used together, may have, may develop more irritation using them together. You can, you can alternate them. Uh, use one in the morning and one in the evening, but uh, don't replace your salicylic acid with polyhydroxy acids. You will lose, you'll lose some of that control that the, that the beta hydroxy acid was previously providing. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Check the description box. I'll list the names of polyhydroxy acids so you guys can be smart consumers and navigate your skincare products a little better, as well as some of my favorite polyhydroxy acid containing products. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.